Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video here and uh, talk to you about the power of our menu of services and different services that we offer to our sellers. Um, <clears throat> this experience took place about six months ago. I uh, was representing a seller on his roughly 40 acre parcel and one of the services that the, the seller had selected is to be present during showings. Now let me stage this up for you. Um, most of the time, realtors will list your property for sale, put it on the internet, do their advertising, whatever it is, and then or what little it is, and and uh, um, and then if a buyer's agent calls to show it, they'll just, you know, give you a code or have a lockbox there or give you showing instructions. Um, they'll give you about anything you want as a buyer's agent just so they don't have to go show the property. Uh, all of which I've discovered throughout the years that this, uh, this type of service is sometimes detrimental to the seller. And um, this particular day was a case of that. Um, so anyway, um, seller chosen that we be present during showings. Buyer's agent called, said, Hey, I got a buyer interested in your property. Uh, can we go sh just take a drive by? And I said, nah, I said, I'll meet you out there in the buyers and we'll go over certain things that are important to the property. So I met him there and no kidding. I was so embarrassed for this dude. He shows up and we're out. Okay. 40 acre country property, right? And we live in rural USA. It's not like we're selling in Wyoming. Like people know when you go out in the country, it's going to be country. <laughs> this dude, the realtor, shows up in flip flops, shorts, and a slouchy t shirt. Worse than this one here, he looked like he had just come from the gym. I was totally embarrassed. Like he's supposed to be the one of the professionals on site that day. Like, those are his customers. So initially, you know, me sizing it up, uh, I was quiet about my judgments, but I was like, wow, this is really interesting. Um, all in about five seconds, I have all these thoughts kind of flashing through my mind. Anyway, uh, get into the showing. And if you're gonna buy acreage, especially 40 acres, it's gonna take what, maybe 30 minutes to walk around, look at all the amenities and the perks and, and get a good feel for the property. Um, so of which we did, it was a nice sunshiny day. Uh, we got lucky the wind wasn't even blowing and, um, we take off looking at different things and it was a good thing. I was there. This guy couldn't have told you where the property boundaries were, what a stake looked like in the ground to, you know, your survey markers. He didn't know what an old, uh, oil well pad looked like. He didn't know what coal bed methane abandoned wells looked like. He had more questions than the buyers. <laughs> so good on him for asking questions. Like uh, I'll give credit there, but had I not shown up to that showing, uh, the buyers would have been left wondering what the world was going on. Um, uh, luckily they, they had quite a bit of experience. They knew what a lot of these things were features, different features on the property both that added value and some that kind of took away value at the same time. But, uh, you know, if I had just let it in the hands of that buyer's agent, uh, the story or the kind of the, the mind thought processes that that buyer was going to go through that day would have been a totally different narrative. Um, and we see this quite a bit, not just on country properties, like, we, we do this on all types of properties. If the seller requests us to be there for sh all showings, we're going to be there. And the reason for that is to answer questions. Don't leave anything up for assumption. Um, make sure the buyer's experience is as good as we can make it. If we make that buyer's experience good or great, we're probably going to see great or good offers, right? Like this, it's going to be reciprocal. Um, now back to this story, we didn't get an offer out of these buyers. Um, I, they were a tad bit speculative on the market at that time. The interest rates were just starting to, uh, 
uh, get on the rise again and it was kind of a funky place in the market but uh, I feel like they had a, a, a really good showing that day and I was able to get them really good data you know and of course we had our I had my three ring binder with me I had well reports I had maps I had uh, covenants I had county zoning information like I had a full book with me right there on site you know if I didn't have that stuff with me for the showing um, you know all of a sudden the buyer's agents calling me right or texting me or sending me an email and wasting all of our time for nothing you know we didn't get an offer out of them buyers but I had it handled in an hour's time it wasn't drag on for two or three days right so so anyway just shedding a little light on that and uh, kind of poking some fun a little bit. Um, you can't always assume because somebody's licensed, they know what the heck they're doing. Uh, this guy certainly didn't. He was able to, to land some customers that were looking for country properties. This guy had never, as far as I could tell, he stepped foot in the country. He didn't know what he was selling and didn't know what he was looking looking at. And uh, so I'm sure he got, he got a pretty good lesson from me that day. All of which I hope he's able to hone in on and kind of craft a little bit for himself and make himself a better person and a better salesman. Um, but anyway, um, don't as a seller, don't hesitate to sit down with with me or any other realtor and say, you know, what are the services you're bringing to the table? Um, and this is just one of several that we bring to the table, and. Uh, to help guide our sellers and, and generate better offers and generate better experiences for buyers and sellers both, right? Like, uh, last thing we want to do is create a hostile environment on the right piece of property and have the seller and buyer hate each other at the end of the deal. Like, that that ain't going to work out very good for somebody. Um, so anyway, uh, if you got questions, holler. Um, and I'm glad you're a subscriber to our channel. If you're watching this, share it along with somebody if you think they need to... to kind of hear this information a little bit and um, yeah give us a call anytime we're looking for, right now we're s looking for properties to sell uh, you know, we got a lot of buyers and very little property to sell so anyway uh, if you know anybody looking at or interested even interested in possibly entertaining the idea of selling property uh, please get a hold of us uh, thanks and talk to you later